So next I want to illustrate the positioning of a UI view. Um, first it's important to know that the positioning of a UI view is determined by its origin property. Um, and the origin is the CG point that we saw before on the previous slide. And the origin always is relative to the super view and we're going to see what this means. So here on the right of the slide I have a view that has a width of 300 points and a height of 500 points. It's a green view. So if we wanted to uh, see the characteristics of the frame of this view in code, it looks like this. We've got the origin, and that is at point x0, y0. And that is really because every um, view that is on, on the root of the view hierarchy um, always will have the origin x and y uh, equals 0. And then um, the size of this view's frame is uh, it has a width of 300 and a height of 500. So exactly as we see on the right, because we have the, the, um, the additional information there, um, and on the left we see what it looks like in code. If we now were to add a red view to this, so let's add a red view that has um, 50 points to the left, 50 points to the top, and then a width of 150 and a height of 100. So what is the frame of this view now? So the origin of this, because we determine it relative to the super view, will be 50-50. Note that if we were to add a new view to this red view, in that case, um, the red view would be the, the, the super view of the new view, and um, the new view's frame would be relative to the red view, not to the green view anymore. So it, all, it, it is really important uh, to understand that every uh, view is always positioned relative to its super view, its direct super view. Um, and then we've got the size of the red view as well, which is a width of 150 and a height of 100. Your views also have a center property. And this center property is relative to, its, to the super view as well. So let's take a look at the example that we saw on the slide before. So again, we have got our green view here, uh, and it has a width of 300, height of 500. Uh, so the center of this view is going to be at this particular point. And in code, this would look like this. We've got the green view, and its center property is set to CG point x150 and y250. So in this case, because the origin of the green view is 0, 0, it is very easy to determine the center because it's basically just half the width and half the height. Let's add the red view again though. So now we've got the red view and with the red view we can't take the same formula to calculate the center because the center also is relative to the super view. So let's first take a look where the center of the red view is. It's right there, so it's positioned in the middle on the x and the y axis of the red view. But because we cannot apply the same formula to determine the actual um, values for the center, we cannot take half the width and half the size. The center is not going to be x75 and y50, even though the width is 150 and the height is 100. Rather, um, we have to determine it relative to the super view. So Imagine that this x is actually placed on the green view and not on the red view, and we need to find out the coordinates for this. And in this case, the coordinates are going to be um, 125 for the x value and 100 for the y value, because these are the values um, for the green view. And note that the center can always be derived from the frame, but not the other way around. So if you've got the uh, frame uh, of a view, you can always calculate its center, but you cannot necessarily calculate the, the frame based on the center. Uh, 